The Symbolic Species by Terence Deacon. So this book is, well, it's a big old thick paperback. It's gone through some, some hard times with me. Um, but um, it's put out by, a, I don't know if he's a neurologist or something like that. He's, the, the book is about how humans acquire language and how we've, uh, how our brain has evolved to be ready for language, how we um, have certain functions and structures in our brain to be ready for, to, to, to accept language when it comes and to, under, to, to better understand it based on the way that our brain is set up. It's been a long time since I read it, um, but I do remember it specifically going after some of Noam Chomsky's thinking about uh, linguistics and how the brain acquires language. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting, but there's probably, this book was written a while ago now, 1997. So it's, I think this was, is, could this be a first edition? Or did they have a, I'm not really sure if they had a, uh, a hardback edition. I didn't realize this text was composed in New Caledonia. How about that? Anyway, um, there's probably <clears throat> even further research and more work on this, especially with modern advances in MRI and other kinds of ways that we can scan brain while we're even acquiring language. But uh, yeah, so but this probably isn't where I would start if I wanted to get interested in this field. In any case, here we have it, The Symbolic Species by Terence Deacon.